Vince Brooks. Angus Smith. I, I heard really you think. had laryngitis, so I brought you oh, tea excellent. and honey yeah. to soothe I your throat. I probably could use some refreshments. Yeah, and exactly. Days. Thank you. And I understand you don't have much time today either. I do not. I do appreciate the fact that you made it down, though, because uh, you and I have been chatting on the internet and yes, phone over the last few weeks and stuff like that. Obviously, I know you don't have an Isuzu I in your company that. right now, and you're in construction. Mm -hmm. I worked there for a while and enjoyed it and stuff like that. Um, something's piqued your interest, obviously, with an Isuzu truck compared to the ones that are in your fleet right now, and I would hazard to guess that it might be the safety features and the drivability of this vehicle that we're going to look at today. Okay. So this is a 2022 NRR. It's, uh, it's one of many in our in our lineup, but uh, this compares closely to the vehicles you are driving. So I'm just going to take you on a little bit of a thing with, the, with regards to the front of it. So Azuzu being uh, the leader in cab forward trucks for a long time, okay. since you yeah. and I are both yeah. kids yeah. probably, um, the, the, the visibility in this truck, I don't know if you've ever been in one, Perhaps not, but you will have a chance to sit in in a minute. Okay. Um, compared to a traditional cab, you can obviously see right in front of the truck, about eight feet, so right about where we're standing, and you'll see that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. If you're in close in one of your construction sites and your operators need to get even closer to a building or something like that, taking their seatbelt off, okay. looking over, you can see about a foot in front of the truck. Excellent. Yeah, it's really good. So um, some of the other nice features, um, Recently added was um, uh, LED headlights. So mm -hmm. comparatively speaking, less power, but just brighter in general for lighting up when you're going home mm -hmm. at the end of the day, yeah, that's as opposed true. to in the morning and stuff like that. Um, one of the, I, I, I don't know how picky you are with um, your guys uh, driving the truck, and, uh, but from a safety perspective, um, I like the red seat belts that we offer in some of our trucks. Oh, I see. It, yeah. It's a reminder, encourages them mm -hmm. to wear their seat belt um, because the last thing you want to do is phone a mother or a wife uh, no. at the end of the day and tell them that somebody's been in an accident mm -hmm. and therefore. Um, the seat height helps a lot. Obviously, you can tell just from looking at it, right, you right. gain about 12 inches in height, so they have a great deal of visibility right, comparatively mm -hmm. speaking Compared, to a yeah, conventional yeah. cab, stuff like that. So big mirrors on both sides. Oh, absolutely. Fully adjustable. They move in for tight spots. I've been on construction sites. Mm -hmm. When you're fighting with the electricians and plumbers and HVAC guys, mm -hmm. you can move in, close back, and then they pause you stop back out. So you Excellent. don't have to do the Excellent. adjustments Excellent. like that. So yeah, so the truck, um, obviously, a lot of visibility through the windows, windshield wipers. Uh, do a great job keeping it clean, stuff like that. I don't know how much rain and stuff you get through, but uh, so from a safety perspective, uh, you know, really, really trying to get your, we, we know that safety is a key issue in construction. Yeah, every day, yes. Right? So whether you're downtime on your truck or you're downtime with a, yeah. one of your operators are gone because of something, uh, you're not making money. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for putting that up. Yeah, exactly. So maybe we'll take a, a walk down this side. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, that you told me about the trucks that you're currently operating. Yeah. This truck is in the same weight range. Good. So you're going to be able to carry about the same weight, 12,000 pounds mm -hmm. on the back. So I'm not sure what you're hauling on a daily basis, but, mm -hmm. but it is in exactly the same weight range with yours. The tires are matched. Our engineers have matched the tires to the weight range, so they're 12 ply, 19 and a half inch tires, okay. interchangeable, mm -hmm. so the weight range and the tires are matched uh, ideally, so. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the diesel, which I'll show you when we get to the other side and lift the cab and stuff like that. Okay. Um, versus the V8 that you were driving now, this is a four cylinder. Surprisingly, um, it has the same torque. Okay. as an eight-cylinder, which I'm going uh, to, to visit some of the Isuzu technicians next week. I'm mm -hmm. going to ask them how they're able to achieve that, right? I mean, I I'm, I'm interested to see how they can get four cylinders. Absolutely. Uh, little drop in horsepower from what you're used to, but um, torque, torque is, is going to move your payload, 
uh, to your job site. So um, the dev system is located here. Um, and I'm sure you are familiar with the regulations around uh, our, our dev system and stuff like that. Yes. Um, it's got a 30 gallon stainless steel gas tank. Uh, once again, uh, we have additional gas tanks, but I know it's not, you were saying you're moving from the residential areas to downtown. Urban, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, so you're going to be, yeah, gas probably isn't yeah. going to be an issue for you yeah. and stuff going yeah. forward. Good. I understand most of your trucks have flat decks on it. That is correct. Yeah, so this frame obviously in total length is going to be advantageous because the ventral cab is shorter altogether. Okay. You're still going to be able to put a 16 foot frame on here, like a 16 foot flat deck mm -hmm. with a headache rack. Um, I, I know you, you have your own upfitter. I would, given the price of the steel and aluminum, I'd look at aluminum because you're going to save about 1,000 pounds in weight, which you can use okay. to add more stuff onto your frame. So. Excellent. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, now with the prices the way they are today, <laughs> it used to be a much bigger variance in price. So, um, yeah. Uh, we'll go around to this side. Okay. Um, we have two batteries. Easy to service and maintain. Okay. Yeah. So you shouldn't uh, shouldn't have any trouble starting it. The def tank. It has a lockable def cap that can come with it. This okay. one doesn't have it, feature. but yeah, yeah. I don't know how many people are stealing def anymore. They'll steal those things. I understand, but not no. so much the def fluid and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how old your operators are. Probably a variety of guys will be driving this. Yes, yeah, it does. There'll be a variety of guys and a variety of sizes, and I'll show you that in a minute and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, this little item right here, of course, if a diesel runs out of fuel for whatever reason, negligence perhaps, okay. hurried to go home, forgot <laughs> to get fuel. Um, if it does run out of fuel, uh, your guys can simply pre-prime the system right here okay. so they're not stuck either on the way to work, which is going to cost you money, or on the way home, which oh, is going to cost yeah. them time oh, yeah. and you money. Mm -hmm. So they can easily prime the system and get it going. Mm -hmm. um, as, as far as the rest of the truck, I mean, there's some features and things that uh, can go into a little bit more detail, but I know you're short for time. I want to show you some of the things inside the cab, yes. and then I'll show you the motor. So Excellent. I don't, um, I know, uh, our guys and, and some of our other customers uh, do a daily walk around on the vehicle. Okay. I'm not sure if you encourage your guys to do that. Um, we like to do it. I think it, I don't know if it was inherently built into the Isuzu or if it's if it's an after thing. But while we have a, an indicator light to show oil low oil level, I, yeah. I I'm of the belief that if you get the guys to check the oil every day, and it's down we're going to catch something earlier. Mm -hmm. Why Why would your truck be consuming oil rather than wait till the light comes on? Mm -hmm. It also makes them lift the cab. Now, I've been on job sites, you've been on job sites, the boys eat their lunch in the truck, <laughs> they leave yeah. subway wrappers, mm -hmm. drink cups. You can't really leave stuff in a cab for a truck if you're going to check the oil every day because okay. it ends up on the dash. So oh it's yeah. a good routine to get them into, I find, that. Okay. Hey, you guys, do the walk around. Make sure the tires Great all have advice. air in it, right? Check, check the oil. Mm -hmm. Check the transmission fluid. Check to see if the lights work because you're going to be on the highway. Don't want to get stopped. Again, that costs you money and time, right? Oh, yeah. And it's, it's, it, once they get into a routine like mm -hmm. that, so that's something you won't... Maybe, maybe we won't tell them about the low oil light, and you can just tell them to check the oil every day. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, I'll let you... I'll let you take a look at the cab. There's yeah, some yeah. new design changes on the cab, new fabric on the seats. Okay. Pretty durable. I'm yeah. sure you've noticed most trucks that wear out, in and out, yeah, in and right. out, in and out, in and out, in oh, and yeah. out, on your truck all day long. It's got some storage behind the seats. If you're on a job site, of course, you have to have safety. You've got to have your safety vest. You've got to have your hard hats. You've got yeah. to have your yeah. fire extinguisher and everything <laughs> like that. So there is room behind the seats for that. Okay. Um, the seat is mechanical. Okay. Again, if you have four or five different guys driving in the truck, the last thing you need is to, to wear out your seat mechanism, right? If it's electronic and then you bring sure. it into the shop, we have to get parts, the seat, so you can easily adjust the seat 
forward and backwards, depending. I'm sure you have some different size guys. Okay. And a seat like that. So with manual like that. It also comes with a mechanical uh, ride adjust seat. This one doesn't have it. Okay. Where you can adjust for the driver's weight. I see. Okay. So you got, I'm sure you have different size guys. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, there's room for three. Right? Just so in get, case. Just in case, yeah. Do you only send two guys out? Not no, always. Yeah. So, not always, yeah, exactly. So cup holders. Uh, we'll go inside, but before we do that, I'm going to show you the engine and stuff like that where the, your young guys can check the oil. Uh, it's pretty easy. Oh, this way. Or this way. <laughs> Vince, <laughs> next time you have five more minutes, come and see me. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you. Enjoy your coffee. Hey, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Excellent. Yeah.